The 2024 ad war is well underway, and there are some good, bad, and pretty ugly ones. We're going to issue a report card on the various efforts every week. And joining me now, Terry Schilling, president of the American Principles Project. Terry, um, let's start with this ad from Donald Trump, which is airing on Fox. MS-13 gang member here illegally, robbed a pregnant woman, then released, then executed a San Francisco family, another illegal, arrested, released, then killed this young boy with a sword. Who released every one of them? Liberal DA Kamala Harris. The victim's blood is on her hands. Terry, what grade do you give it? I give it an A, Laura, and thanks for having me. I think this is a very powerful ad. It gets beyond just the statistics and figures, which don't really tell that much of a story. This paints visuals. It, it, it really sh and it leads everything over to Kamala Harris, which she is responsible for. So I give it an A. Um, we have a new ad from Kamala, which is also airing on Fox, which portrays her as relatable. <laughs> she grew up in a middle-class home. She was the daughter of a working mom and she worked at McDonald's while she got her degree. Kamala Harris knows what it's like to be middle class. Donald Trump has no plan to help the middle class. Just more tax cuts for billionaires. Terry, relatable grade? Uh, I give it a B plus. I think the message is solid, but I give it an F for honesty. Right. The, Kamala Harris hasn't been middle class for several decades. And by the way, she's trying to take credit for uh, or she's planning to uh, you know, turn the economy around with the affordable housing and health care. What's she been doing the last four years? She's been part of part of the problem and part of this administration that has been causing these problems. She's just getting going. Come on, Terry. She's <laughs> just getting started. Give her give her a break. All right. The Senate race in Pennsylvania. And man, this had dueling ads, huge money being spent there. Here's Senator Bob Casey's ad against his challenger, Dave McCormick. McCormick invested millions of dollars in the company that makes 90 percent of China's fentanyl. McCormick saw a way to get rich off Chinese fentanyl. <laughs> now, here's how Dave responded. The Philadelphia Inquirer says Casey personally owns stock in the same Chinese fentanyl producer he attacked McCormick for. Casey's trying to cover up his weakness on border policy. Under Biden, Harris, and Casey, illegal fentanyl is flowing over the border. Terry, which one lands and how do you grade them? <laughs> Uh, I give the McCormick ad an A. It's called political jujitsu when you use your opponent's lies and attacks and energy against them. Uh, it's very powerful and pointing out that uh, Bob Casey invested money in the same company through his mutual funds is, is a solid way to land a good punch. Yeah, I mean, every time you invest in a mutual fund, you're going to be held accountable for everything. That, I mean, that's a pretty big stretch. Congressman Eric Swalwell enlisted the help of Hollywood producers and writers for this attack ad against Trump. Great day at school. Dictator on day one. There will have to be some form of punishment for women. Roe versus Wade was terminated. Fire, fury, blood bad. Now get in. You know what, honey? I'm going to drive you today. If you wouldn't trust him with your kid, why would you trust him with your country? Well, Kamala has been number two to the guy who sniffs kids' hair every five seconds. So, Terry, I don't know. What does that work for you? Uh, well, I give that uh, that ad a D minus. Uh, it's a great ad for fundraising, but that's not going to shift a single swing voter. I think that the writers for the Colbert Report probably had something to do with it because it's just as funny, but it's not going to move a single voter. And, and Eric Swalwell is in a D plus 20 district, so he doesn't have to worry about persuasion campaigns. Yeah, what I don't understand is like if you're worried about your kids, you don't want the illegals coming across the border, all the crime, all the damage, flooding the schools. But yeah, Trump's the problem. Uh, I give it an F, not even a D minus. Terry, thank you. Great to see you.